What up guys, I am at a skate park right now and I'm quite convinced this is the worst skate park in California. Some of you may know this park, some of you may not, but this skate park's in like Temecula and for such an affluent city, you'd think there'd be like a really nice skate park here, but there's not. I'm gonna try to skate this park as best as I can. <laughs> It's hot out here. It's probably like 34 degrees Celsius, so maybe 85 Fahrenheit, 90 maybe. Skating this park reminds me of like skating a ditch. Also because the ground has uh, water stains from the runoff. It feels like I'm skating like a ditch and a rugby league field. So if you're from Australia, you're bound to have tried to skate at the football oval. And uh, it feels like you're skating like the steps where everyone kind of sits. It has that kind of feel to it. So I'm liking this park more than I thought I would have because I thought I'm going to have a, like a shit time. It's going to be nothing fun. That was fun. Some poor cunts fucking throwing their guts up because of how sick this park is. <laughs> Slappy, you know, slide this thing from the top, like through the kink to the bottom would be so sick, but it just looks like an ankle roll waiting to happen. It's a very shallow hubba if you will yeah this is the spot i was talking about there's like three bits of roll in here there there and there it kind of leads you into the drain if you're kind of familiar with this part of um southern california there's a area called hemet it's probably like a 40 minute drive 45 minute drive from here and they just got like the sickest park i'm pretty sure spawn ranch made that park too the only bad thing about that park is it doesn't have lights so as soon as the sun goes down that's pretty much it unless you want to bring your own lights but it's just crazy to me because people that are local here if you know Hemet, it has its reputation and uh it's just amazing to me that a city like Hemet could like put the money together and get like a really sick park but temecula is still living in the 80s with <laughs> with skateboarding and stuff so really happy and excited to uh, finally get a good park out here it's been a very, very long time. It's been like, what, how many years is that? If this was made in like 85 or some shit, that's probably like pff, almost 40 years maybe, if, I, if my math serves me correctly. I'm just gonna start at the top of the park here. We have this big bowl thing, satellite dish with a big curb and a roller kind of hip, but the transition doesn't really transition. It's kind of just like straight up like a bank with a little bit of coping all the way around. And then we have these massive four blocks here. There's one here, oh this one is pretty much one whole big four block. And if you're feeling really spicy too, you could probably gap from here down to the flat. You just have to gap that three block with the flat. So it's a four to flat to three. And then there's a couple of big fun boxes here. As you can see, they're a lot of fun. This is the absolute craziest thing about this skate park. You don't know if this is a handrail or a flat bar or a down bar because it's quite low. Like if I stand next to it, it kind of comes up to my, just below my pocket. A lot of skateboarders have thrown down on this. I'm pretty sure the Dern brothers did a video here. Uh, one of them feebled all the way to the end. And then there's this big chunky boy right here too. In all honesty, the real skate park here is the high school across the road. That's where I kind of blew my ankle out though. So I haven't been back since I, uh, since the accident. <laughs> As you can see, the park kind of trickles down all the way to the bottom. And then everyone ends up kind of stuck around here. There is some curbs, which is cool. There's like transition and then curbs. I don't know if those curbs are original or not. or well, they were added in once the park was built, but that's pretty neat for such an old park. Say something. Hey, <laughs> she bit the mic. Hey, it's not for biting, just for talking.
got heaps of time to tattoo, so if you want to get something sick done, hit me up. My tattoo Instagram, Sean Enox Tattoo. Add a Norco tattoo. Got these sick hats made. If you want to come and get a tat, get a hat, hop on in. I want to do some like traditional American stuff. Even if you want something like small, like a name, whatever, hit me up. And yeah, that's it. I'm all sweaty. I wish I could do like this. Woo! Okay. You could. Oh God. I just recently got back into like reading books. I've been reading this book and like listening to the audiobook of this book on the drive to work and it's like opened my mind completely and changed the way I've kind of looked at things. I don't really recommend people reading books on my channel. This is probably the first one, but this is a good book. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm thriving off learning new things. Like it feels like good. And I never felt like I would say this, but it's it feels good to read. Usually I wouldn't read books unless I had like a, I don't know, grade 10 English assignment. We had to read a book or whatever. They'd make us read a book at school. But this book's been amazing and I recommend it to anyone that wants to like gain new insight and uh, work on themselves a little bit more. <laughs> I sound like a, like a mental guru person if you want to get tattooed hit me up sean enox tattoo on instagram check out eveningmob.com go pick something up and uh yeah cheers for watching see you guys in the next vid Red, i want you to go to his house blow that joint up don't let nobody out oh get trigger man bring him to me because i'm tired of this trigger man stuff from tennessee now all the time while this stuff is going on i called